Welcome to the Relational Rhythms. I have already started to record something if you forgot. My name is Patrick Alexander Sonko or Yenga Sonko. And I'm here from the worlds of the heart. It's nice when you can call your, your home, your website, your company, the energy that you're living in. So I'm very blessed with that. Our relational rhythms is, is part of our main themes, our heart themes, as we call it. And it's really about finding these connections of relations. And this is not only for self or for relationship with your beloved or your family. It really also translates into a work and an educational space. Because of our background, we have that connection to workspace and also education. So what is relational rhythms really all about? Relational rhythms in its essence and, and its first initial state is about first connecting to the rhythms. What changes when you connect to your relational rhythms? You're going deep within, you're connecting to your intra-connection. So that rhythm that truly makes you. It's connected to our context of living in a, in a world where there's more unconscious than conscious when we're more than seven years old. So we're, we're unlocking and we're shifting what is holding us in the unconscious and find our truth, if you wish. Or we go from the disconnectedness in the connectedness. And that is the first rhythm, the intra rhythm that goes deep within. Of course, we have quite a lot of tools and systems that enable that and we also producing a course that you can purchase online and not only watching videos and audios and doing some play shops or play work at home but also to have a personal session a personal class with us after each module so this would be a module one is the intra the second is the inter and the inter is in general about how we're connecting into the world if we're going into the space with the beloved, obviously it will be sp specific for that. If we're going into the workspace, it will be about collaboration, teams, leadership, whatever your topic may be. And in an educational sense, it will go into the connection to assessment, into the connection with students in all different levels of education from primary into tertiary. It will go in the way we're connecting with content with learnings and unlearnings. So this is in a nutshell what the three different areas are that we're doing. And this was your inter, so it's our world, general as well as specific. The third rhythm is the transconnectedness, and trans is beyond. So beyond is really looking at the silver lining, quantum space, it's looking at the mystic side of things and our heart. Of course for me that's also very exciting to connect to that trans connection, to that trans rhythm. That really helps us to understand more about who we are. It goes beyond the mind and into the heart and into the mystic and quantum space. So in this playlist we're going to talk about the relational rhythms and here you will also find some free classes and we are very happy to hear your comments so that we can create content more that's good for you and that helps you in your relationship with self with others in your work and in education the rhythms is the basics and then of course from there we're looking at expectations we are looking at different energy of communicating from dialogue to argument to discussion. And we are looking at a whole lot more things like commitment, like intimacy. How far do you want to go in your relationship? Again, with self, with your beloved, or in the work and educational space. And how much passion do you have about this relationship? Surely the passion for self and your beloved is different from work and from education passion. So we're very happy to explore this with you um, and really feel into you as well. What are your concerns? What are your pain points? 
what is difficult for you about your relationship with self, with the beloved, in the working environment, and in education. So join us here, and we'll see you for more videos.